Hey guys. So I'm in a number of groups on Facebook uh, related to kind of what we do here. Some free ones that people have added to me over the years, some as part of paid programs that I'm part of. And I've seen a number of very similar posts coming up over the last few weeks, particularly in the free groups, because obviously it's a you may be in a different position if you're in a free group on average versus being part of a paid program, where people have expressed that their business is failing through no fault of their own. And when you then check the comments, other people have come on and offering useful help and direction have asked what things they're doing to, to bring in new members, help keep their current members, to help service people during these challenging times. Uh, and invariably, the answer in those cases is very little. They've pretty much just kind of tried to carry on doing what they've always done. Maybe they've just put a post out on Facebook saying I'm now taking sessions on Zoom or whatever it may be. And ultimately, that then means that the reason their business is failing, fault's a very strong word, but it's at least in part down to their own actions or inactions. Harsh as that may sound, that's ultimately the truth. You know, it's been a challenging year for us here. There is a bit of a hole in the budget that we'll need to refill when we're back up to like 100% and, and be able to do what we've always done. But ultimately, it's actually been relatively unscathed. You know, we've delivered a full set of sessions, 32 sessions per week, every week for the last year, even though we've not been in the club for two thirds of that time. We've had probably 80 odd percent, 85 percent of the normal membership rate. We've paid all our bills. The staff have all been paid. Uh, and we know that's in large part down to our own efforts that we've worked really hard and continuing to deliver what we've always delivered, to upskill ourselves, to improve what we offer, to offer an ever better level of support to our members, not just because we need to pay the bills, but because that's what we want to do. We want to help people with these challenging, difficult times. And ultimately, if someone's not doing some of those things, if essentially they're not really doing anything and their business is failing, then it's, it's worth at least realising that there's those options there that they can they can respond in a different way to lead to better results than they've got and the parallel for that is it's the same in all areas of life it's very easy to think that we're perhaps a victim of our genes that we've got a bad metabolism and fair enough there are minor variations in metabolism outside of variations in actual size and body composition but they're really small so ultimately the vast majority of our energy needs are just dictated by how big we are and how active we are. And if we're not then doing what we can do to make that happen, to lead in the direction, the body that we want, to help create the energy levels we desire, again, it's not our fault, because fault's a strong emotive word, but there's things we can do. We could be doing those things. We could be making more progress. Realizing that is empowering. Like a struggling business owner realizing they're not doing everything that they could do and that they could be in a very different position if they chose to do some of those things, we can do the same with our health and fitness. We can just choose to kind of accept the cards that we've been dealt and play with them the best way that we can.